Hey, Dan Passarelli. I want to talk about something important and something that's kind of confusing to a lot of people. That is the difference between technical and fundamental analysis. So you hear these words thrown around a lot, and um, you, maybe you use both of them. But sometimes without really thinking deeply about it, it's hard to put your finger on exactly what the difference between these two things are. And the way I see it, it's really pretty simple. So fundamental analysis is really more geared towards value. Fundamental analysis analyzes the perceived influences on the value of an underlying company. These things could be things like, um, you know, the inflation rate, or it could be the company's earnings report, or it could be uh, the monthly unemployment report. It could be looking at the balance sheet or the income statement of a company. All these things, all this, um, you know, uh, things that affect the financial health of a company or the industry or the economy of a whole. Whereas technical analysis, you know, that's different. Technical analysis is, is more price data. It's, it's data of what occurred taken from the market. And a very common way that we look at that is with a price chart, right? Like on this day, we saw Apple trade as high as X, as low as X, and it opened at this price and it closed at this price. And why did that happen? That's not necessarily what technical analysis answers. It, it answers that it did happen. These are the facts. These are the things that occurred on that day, and we're taking that market data to look at the price of that underlying. And we expand from there, of course. We don't just look at the price chart, but we'll look at some uh, different patterns that might exist on the price chart. We'll look at different indicators, like maybe slow stochastics or RSI, MACD, those kind of things, which are just simply a, a little bit more sophisticated ways of looking at that same data, which is intended to make it more clear and to give the trader better information on which to trade. All right. I hope that cleared everything up, and I hope that was helpful. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.